when tragedy occurs in young people's lives, that's when the most destruction happens. And that's also when you want to give up. You turn to different substances and people know sometimes when you're struggling because they're predators. Understand that when you're vulnerable, you need to reach out to somebody stronger than you. Because here's a part of my message. Each one of us can get of our burrows and we can make something of ourselves. Do you agree? Yes! Yeah. Because the people on the phones that you think you're speaking to, sometimes you all think you're speaking to somebody that's 12 years old. And it's a 30 year old man. That part, where the snaps at? Are you happy to who? You? Wow. Look at that. Does your parents know? Miss mm -hmm. Tanika, what do we need to talk about it? Can we? Come here. What's your name, first of all? Robert. Robert, look at this. Robert, how old are you, first of all? Ten. And you're okay with sharing this publicly? Sure. Okay. Miss Tanika, it's okay? It's fine. Robert, please share what happened to you. Come up a little bit farther here because this is what this is about. Right, so one time I was on the game. Here, speak up. This is public speaking time now because you might be a public speaker one day. Stand up very st straight, straight back. Go ahead mm -hmm. and stop playing with your necklaces. Uh huh. Tell your story. Snap it up. So one, one day I was on the game, right? I was just, I was just playing. Then I was on this game, and then people just started talking. And he's, and one of them, they sounded like they was like either five or six years old, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I was like, I was like, who's this? My mother, she was sitting right there, but she was just sitting up with my baby sister. So she heard what I said, so and she said, get off the game. So I got off the game, and, and then at that same day, the next day I had school, so I went to sleep. Then when I woke up, nothing really happened, but then I got back on the game, and the same thing happened. And it was an adult who was sounding like a child. Mm. Not here for no reason. I'm trying to save lives today. I'm trying to save y'all lives because this is happening in real time. All right, so I was like, I was next to my grandma's house with like some of my friends. And I thought like, cause I was with some of my friends. So I was like, nothing bad was gonna happen. Cause I was with like four or five people, like four or five people with me, but none of them was adults. It was like teenagers and kids. So then I'm walking and meanwhile my grandmother and my grandfather was in the store so i'm walking and then this guy he tries to grab my shirt and then my grandfather he comes out the store and then he came out in the gospel and that was my grandfather and he ran and we need to end this today so with that being said my name is anaya a and my plight just one of my missions in life is to end the, the trafficking of our children because People might look at it like, Anaya, they're not being sex trafficked. At least that organ's not being sold like some other countries. We're in America. We should have laws and we should have leaders who stand up against either or. And let me share this with y'all. Do you know when a child is nurtured at birth? Say it again. Children are supposed to be nurtured in health. And let me share this visual with you before I end. He's about six months. He's crying and fussing because his teeth are coming in. And I looked at my son, his name is King, and I couldn't do anything to console him. His teeth, they're teeth. I can't help you, baby, but I'm gonna put some stuff, orange gel on it, you know, I'm gonna try to make you, I'm gonna give you a passy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, you know, take a warm compress, I'm gonna do whatever I can. And my friends, I had a visual at that moment of the children in foster care the babies who are teething, who are being passed around in the system, who has nobody to hold them. And I started to cry with my son because I held him and I realized somebody's child is not being held right now. And there's nothing that anybody can do. I'm leaving you with these nuggets and these visuals to show you something. When you all get ready to color, because that's another part of our project here this afternoon, we're gonna become pen pals to the children in foster care. When you go and write your letters to the children in foster care, 
when you share words of encouragement because you have your mom, you have your dad, you have your grandmother, you have your tia and your tío, you have all of this support in your village, think about them. Say something nice to them. Encourage them because they need love too.